I'm Zoe Sheridan and I have with me Maria Tamarkin, who is a very intelligent and talented woman, another one, uh, who is a research fellow at the Swinburne Institute and also an author of not one, not two, but three books. Now, I just would like to know, first of all, what was it like migrating to Australia from Russia when you were 15 years old? Yeah, I mean, it's a, I think 15 is a terrible age, but you know, to immigrate, to come from one culture to another, not to have the language. Did you have a boyfriend? Because, I mean, you were 15, maybe? Or you probably I, I, had I close have, girlfriends? I, yeah, I, uh, the, the kind of, the most tragic moment for me was that on the day that we left, my best friend turned 16. Aww. So, I, and I did it to her, on her 16th birthday. Yeah. You know, and, I, and that image of her on the platform, riding after the train, which sounds sort of so cliched and cinematic. No, it, sounds, it does <laughs> sound cinematic, but I feel like I'm going to cry because it's really sad. And she was, and it was her birthday, mm. and um, I guess now it's more that I think about my parents and what I was. What they you know, went through. Yeah, yeah, I was so self-absorbed as a as an adolescent, and I felt that I was leaving the, the greatest tragedy since the Greek times. You yeah. know separated from my friends and uh, all alone. I wore black for the first two to three years in oh, Melbourne. Oh, you were grieving. Well, that would've, you would have fitted in in Melbourne, really. <laughs> That's right. No one noticed. <laughs> no one noticed, but yeah, only black. And, were you really? Yep. Do you, um, just does your daughter confide in you? Does she tell yeah. you what's going on? Yep, that's good. I, and I think that's what my friends who have all the kids said to me. As long as they keep coming back to you, that's all that matters. And the but communications I, open. Yeah, and as long as you are still that person when, mm. you know, when they're hurting and when, or something is really troubling or they feel in mm. their kind of dramatic fashion that the world has kind of turned upside down in front of their own eyes, as long as you are the person they come back to, yeah. all is okay. And that's what I can imagine, I, well, I kind of get scared of, like the first time she ever gets heartbroken mm. or mm. something like yeah. that, I think it'll break my heart because yeah. you know that you know how badly it hurts yeah. but there's kind of nothing you can do and it's much worse when it's your, your child yeah it's it's not it's you could, you, you could you'd handle, rather have yeah, it yeah. are your left. parents still together yes and do they feel a success story no, yes. no, 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 I, I cannot Isn't that great? <laughs> I cannot claim anything like that in my life but yes they're still together and they've been through so much together they have been through do they yeah feel how do they feel about that decision now do they I mean are they happy living in Australia yeah. and yeah I, th I think the, the pain is to do with people the pain is not to do with the country mm. I think they have really reconciled with leaving I think they have no regrets it took years and years and years and I think it was when Billy was born and I remember bringing her home and lying down next to her on some bed and kind of trying to imagine the world that she sees, trying to see Australia through her eyes. I mean, admittedly, they were infant eyes, you know, she was just yeah. born. And then all of a sudden, something in me clicked. Clicks. But it didn't happen before Billy. And you came. realized you were home. This yeah, is your yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. But, it ha but she was the kind of mediating presence, mm. and through her, it clicked. So, but my parents actually love, love this country. Isn't really. that great? Yeah. And feel very grateful, not not yeah. in a kind of laboured way. They genuinely feel grateful. So it's a beautiful know. story, and I'm glad it's got a happy ending. Really, <laughs> I mean, you know, if, well, I I'm going to read your book. I'm really looking forward to oh, it. Other you. Land is the third book. The yep. first one is Trauma Escapes, yep. and the second one is Courage. That's right. Thank so you for there's, remembering. There's lots more to talk about. So thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. And um, it was lovely to have a heart to heart with you today. Thank you oh, so thank much. You. Thank you. Oh, thank you. you're very brave. <laughs>